Hello dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our lesson for you. Dear friends, we are here to discuss about the bones of the foot. So in the previous lecture I have already discussed about this calcaneus bone. You can go and watch that lecture to have a clear knowledge of the external features of the calcaneal bone. Right, so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the talus bone. It is the second largest bone of your foot so if uh, I hold this foot in its position right this is the talus calcaneus bone and this is the talus bone which makes your ankle joint with the tibia and fibula right friends so this is the talus bone which I am holding in my hand and here we have another model of this talus bone you can see it from all the sides right this is the calcaneus bone and it's the way they make a joint the sub talar joint or the talocalcaneal joint so this is the talocalcaneal joint this one here right friends and here is the sub talar joint so we are not going to discuss those joints here we are just going to discuss about the external features let's go for it friends the talus bone external features first of all about its anatomical position this bone is lying horizontally you can see this bone is lying horizontally right and its head is anteriorly and body is posteriorly so we said this bone is divided into three parts but right now we just mentioned two parts of it there is the head of this bone which is a very oval shaped head and this head should be kept anteriorly this is the body which I am holding in my right hand. This is should be posteriorly. So you can see here, this will be the head of it and this is the body of this bone. So the body is posteriorly and the head is anteriorly, right? Then about the side determination of this bone, how to determine either this bone is from the right foot or from the left foot. So how do you determine it? First of all, you should keep the head anteriorly right we kept it interiorly then what should we the other points we should remember is that the trochlear surface should be upward so friends look here here is the trochlear surface right the upper surface the upper trochlear facet you can see here this should be kept upward right you can see here in this foot right this is the trochlear surface this should be kept upward that's so simple okay the head is anteriorly done in the trochlear surface or the upper surface is upward and you can see here in the lower part of it there is a big facet and this facet should be laterally so we will easily recognize either this is right or left so how look carefully friends this is the left talus bone a calcaneus bone in my hand and this is I don't know either right or left so let's uh, know about it how to recognize the site the head should be interiorly okay the head is interiorly then what then we have written that the trochlear surface the upper surface should be upward right the trochlear surface upward and then there is a big triangular facet for the talar facet should be kept laterally you will recognize this is the right or the left so in my hand I have a left talus bone right then about its external features friends we divide this bone into three important headings that is the head of the talus bone the neck of the talus bone and the body of the talus bone so let's go for the head of the talus bone first of all so about the head it is in forward okay we know it is kept anteriorly then a little bit downward I'm sorry little bit downward the head is kept a little bit downward and medially so look this is the talus bone calcaneus bone and this is the talus bone you can see here it has gone little bit medially right the head has gone medially forward and downward the head is forward medially and downward okay and it is oval and convex you can see it's oval shape and it's convex okay it articulates with the posterior surface of the navicular bone so we have here the navicular bone this is the navicular bone and this is the head of the 
talus bone and it articulates with the posterior surface or the facets of the navicular bone so we say the head of the talus bone articulates with the posterior surface of the navicular bone and it has three facets in it this head of the talus bone has three facets in it and what are those there is a posterior oval facet now let me show you here here is this posterior oval shape now let me make the shape of it also here is the posterior oval shape facet right then there is a medial facet right there is we have written there is a medial facet so here is a little bit uh, small facet and this is called the medial facet uh, so, so, so I'm sorry here is the medial facet which is for the navicular bone so this is the medial facet there is the uh, navicular facet there is a posterior facet medial facet and then there is an anterior lateral facet so here we have the anterior lateral facet of this bone right friends okay so how many facets it has it has three facets the posterior facet the medial and the anterior facet you can see here this is the head of this talus bone so this is a typical talus bone which i am holding in my hand and also you can see on the screen right then the next important point about it is the neck of the talus bone so look this is a forward the head and here you have the neck of this bone that's so simple friends this part is the neck of the bone right so the head the neck and the posterior part or we call it the body the neck of this fast, uh, talus bone is constricted yes we know you can see here it's a little bit constricted right and it is lying between the head and the body so it's lying in between the head and the body so this is the head this is the body and in between them there is the neck and it is directed forward downward and medially and we know this that if you keep it in its position it is directly downward yeah forward and a little bit medially you can see there right in the camera so look carefully here if i hold it look like this right so it, the 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 neck of the bone is directly downward forward and medially and it contains an inferior sulcus telli here is a sulcus present there right and the neck of this bone contains has an inferior sulcus telli right friends so okay friends you can see the sulcus telli here look there is the sulcus telli okay so this was these were the important features the external features about the neck what is that the neck is constricted and it has an inferior sulcus telli in it and it's lying be between the body and the head of the bone all right friends let's go for the next important features and that is about the body of this bone the body of this bone i have divided it into five surfaces this this the body of this bone has five surfaces and what are those surfaces we will discuss them in the next lecture